I'm not thin. But if I were, I would be the thinnest man this side of the NBA. I'd wake up each morning with a smile on my face and I'd sing songs in the shower by Skinny Puppy and Thin Lizzy as I lathered up into an emaciated frenzy. I'd be thinner than thin. I'd wear a skinny tie to work and I would drink coffee with decaffeinated milk. I would be a thin bastard. No! I would be the thinnest bastard looking for other thin bastards to give a bony handshake to. And me and my thinness would travel the world around spreading joy and celery. And I would call up Richard Simmons just to say, you've put on some weight. The world would love me if I were thin, and they'd want to be thin right along with me. i teach them all how to be thin with my thin handbook, and we'd do thin things and eat thin things while going to thin places. And when one of us saw something we liked, we'd get the skinny on it. But I'm not thin. I've been hit on by more overweight people than I have thin people. Maybe they know something I don't, but for now, I don't need to be thin. And I'm cool with anybody who is. I'm also not gay. But if I were, I'd be the gayest man this side of San Francisco. I'd wake up each morning with a smile on my face and I'd sing show tunes in the showers I lathered up into a homosexual frenzy. I'd be gayer than gay. I'd wear a rainbow tie to work and I would drink coffee with my pinky out. It would be a gay pinky. No, it would be the gayest pinky. Looking for other gay pinkies to give hand jobs to. And me and my gayness would travel the world around spreading joy and condoms. And I would call up Richard Simmons just to say, come out and play. <laughs> the world would love me if I were gay and they'd want to be gay right along with me. And I'd teach them all how to be gay with my gay handbook. And we do gay things and eat gay things while going to gay places. And when one of us saw something we liked, we'd say, that is so gay. <laughs> but I'm not gay. I've been hit on by more gay men than I have straight women. Maybe they know something I don't. But for now, I don't need to be gay. And I'm cool with anybody who is. I am, however, Mike McGee. And because of this, I am the best Mike McGee I know. I wake up most mornings with drool on my face and I sing my own songs in the shower as I ladder up into a Mike McGee frenzy. I'm Miker than Mike. I don't wear a tie to work and I say, fuck coffee. Fuck latte, fuck espresso, fuck Starbucks, fuck you, fuck me, which rhymes well with Mike McGee. And me and my Mike mcgee should travel the world around spreading joy and leftovers. And I should call up Richard Simmons just to say, smell it. <laughs> the world doesn't have to love Mike McGee and no one wants to be Mike McGee with me, but I can teach you how to be me with my Mike McGee handbook. And we would do Mike things and eat Mike things while we're at my house. And when one of us saw something we'd like, we'd say, smell it. <laughs> I am Mike McGee and I've never been hit on by Mike McGee. Maybe I know something I don't. But for now, I don't need to be anybody else because I'm cool with Mike McGee. Smell it.